So here's a look back at some of our more memorable moments. There the next generation of police dogs meets the new A-Team. These German Shepherds are the newest recruits at Avon and Somerset Police. I spent the best part of my teenage years at this school and like all teenagers there were many things at the time I failed to appreciate I failed to appreciate that you have to work really hard to get decent exam results often didn't turn up to my class you called me waitress do you remember that yes exactly because you spent Saturday mornings with your mother you said shopping at waitress I was only in the Battle of Britain for nine days I flew 26 times during those nine days and on the 29th um, we were orbiting over Deal at 20,000 feet. Suddenly a big, there was a crash of glass or perspex and a hole appeared in the front windscreen as big as, as big as that. Wave after wave of German bombers unleash their deadly cargo. On the ground beneath, the West Country fights back. An army of men and women defend the home front. Their task is to repel this airborne onslaught. Esme Davidson and Vera Pickering remember when they did it for real. The very sirens that called them to action sent their fellow citizens dashing for cover. These children at Knoll Park Primary School in Bristol are learning what that feels like. John Bartlett will never forget it. And at 310 metres is now the highest tower in Western Europe, as Al Jazeera's Emma Hayward reports. It has changed the London skyline forever. A shard of glass emerging from the city far below. It's taken just over four years to build this spire stretching into the sky. Kosovo has been subject to international supervision since a NATO bombing campaign drove Serbian forces out of the province in 1999. Kosovo's declaration of independence from Serbia has been recognized by 86 countries, including the United States. Roger Lewis is a social worker registered blind for the last seven years. He deals with the fallout from the patients after their ATOS assessments. It's bewildering for people. They are going somewhere they expect to get help and support, uh, and most aren't prepared for it. They don't know what's coming. Ready, set, go! Have a go. Robert Murphy now takes a look back at the Balloon Fiesta's uh, history. Excuse me, I hope that didn't cause any problems. I'm Rachel Trevowan and I'm going to be presenting the weather for you today for ITV West. Um, in Taunton, it's like 25 degrees. Um, towards Dev... Uh, is it Dorset? And the Balloon Festival, the sun has got his hat on. <laughs> sun has got his hat on, I love that. Hi, and welcome to day two of the uh, Bristol International Balloon Fiesta. Oh. Whoa! Yes! Sammy on goal! No matter how many times you go up in a balloon, it's the takeoff and the landing that really give you a little bit of a tremor. 